Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We have got ourselves another new rig. We've picked up the LDRC1201, which is a 1 12th scale, uh, basically an unlicensed Unimog. So it's four wheel drive, it's got locking differentials front and rear, it's actually got a dual motor two speed gearbox, which is just crazy. Uh, it looks really cool, it looks really nice, it's a hard body as well. So let's get out of the box. So let's have a look. Oh, look, you get your uh, Mercedes badge, you know, just in case you want to stick it on the front. So, <laughs> pretty obvious what it is. So, we've got some different goodies. We'll have a look through those at the moment. But this is the actual rig itself. I think that looks really cool. So, your battery goes in the front, then it pops up, and your battery's in the front there. Uh, you've got a little scale interior. Your doors actually open as well, which is like really, really cool. You've got both doors open on either side so that's really cool uh, the rear bed does actually completely open as well so you should be able to just like I'm not sure how it's meant to work you just like you can pop the back down you can pop the sides down you can completely fold it down so that's really cool uh, obviously you've got all the accessories and everything that you can add on there for like your snorkel your mirrors things uh, it's got working LEDs front and rear uh, you've actually got headlights on the front and then on the rear, I'll show you all this in a minute, but on the rear you've actually got reverse lights, it's got indicators, I'm not a fan of indicators, but it's got indicators on there as well. So let's take a look and see what we get with it. You get a bag of goodies, so it looks like we've got in here, so I think they're going to be for the transmitter, a phone grip and the phone bit for your wheel. You've got a 1.2 amp USB charger, so it's not going to be the quickest thing in the world. A little screwdriver. You get one spare leaf spring, it's a bit random. And you've got your little accessories, you've got your mirrors, you've got your handles, you've got your windscreen wipers, your snorkel there as well. Get some instructions with it as well. I'm guessing this is our transmitter. <laughs> wow, that's an interesting looking transmitter, isn't it? It's actually a five channel transmitter, because obviously you can control the front, diff the front diff lock, the rear diff lock, the two speed, uh, and then obviously you've got, you know, um, your proportional steering and throttle. But that is a weird looking little controller, isn't it? That is, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see what that's like, because that is uh, interesting. Okay, and we've actually got some spare, I'm assuming they're spare, because it says it comes with metal gears as well. So I'm assuming these are spare metal gears. So the battery that comes with it is... Yeah, it's a nice snug fit as well, so it won't like shake around. So this is a uh, 7.4 volts, uh, 1200 milliamp hour Li-Ion battery. Take a closer look at it. So it's a really nice looking scale body. There's your front headlights. You've got those front indicators as well. The tires are actually pretty decent looking. They are foam filled tires. Uh, nice soft rubber as well. So it'd be interesting to see what that's like. Now the crazy thing about this thing with all the features, you've got your dual 260 motors in there, obviously you've got a two-speed gearbox, you've got locking differentials front and rear, you've got leaf springs, and they actually feel like decent, they're not really, really stiff either, so that should actually have some nice movement. But look, it's got portal axles as well. So you've got portal axles front and rear. How crazy is that? For $130. I think that is a really cool looking rig. You know, for the price, with all those features, you know, hopefully it'll perform well. And I think that, look at that suspension. You know, it's not really bouncy. You know, I'm hoping on the trail, that's going to look really, really cool. So let's get the accessories put on it. Let's power it on. Let's see what it's like. We'll test out the LEDs. We'll test out the steering. Okay, we got all our accessories on there. So we got our front badge. We got our windscreen wipers. We got our... Uh, bonnet handles, you can see we've got our snorkel on there, we've got a little side repeater, uh, door handles and our mirrors. We also put the, um, the actual mirrors, you know, on the mirrors, <laughs> if that makes sense, the mirrors on the mirrors. I've also stuck the little phone grip on the uh, controller as well, which does make it a little bit nicer in the hand. But you've got your throttle trim here. You've got your front diff lock, your rear diff lock, and then you've got your um, gear change for your two-speed gearbox. 
So it's got a 17 gram steering servo. So, you know, it's not bad, it's all right. There's you know, not a massive amount of angle there, to be fair. Uh, obviously you've got your LED lights, so obviously we've got indicators. And then on the back, we've got our reverse lights. I'm not sure if there's maybe tail lights, but they're not working if they are. It looks like there is an LED there for them, but I don't seem to be able to get them to work. They're not coming on. Okay, we're outside with the mini rock crawler course. It's a bit too big to run on the course, but I just thought it might be a good uh, opportunity to test the slow speed control and how it handles obstacles uh, and just see that suspension movement, uh, which seems pretty good so far. Uh, let's just give it a little try and just see what it's like. So we're just in first gear, diffs locked. You can see his suspension movements all right. Ow. Okay, fell over. <laughs> it's a heavy hard body. I'll try and go as slow as I can on the throttle. You get to a kind of point where you've got to give it a bit more throttle to get it going. So you can see that rear left wheel isn't really turning. Oh, I'm going to tip it again, am I? Hey, good save. Yeah, so it's got nice suspension movement. The, the slow speed control is not too bad. You know, it's not amazing, but it's all right. Um, like I said, the, the rear diff lock doesn't quite seem to be working properly because it's not locking that rear left wheel by the looks of it. But um, yeah, hopefully just to give you a little bit of an idea. But let's hit the trail and let's see what it's like out on the trail. Because uh, yeah, it's not, I don't think it's a really a rock corner, is it? I'd say it'd be more of a, a scaled trail truck. Uh, yeah, let's hit the trail and see what it's like. Okay, so we are out with the LDRC1201, the Unimog. It looks really cool in the daylight. I actually really like that orange. It's, uh, it is a cool looking rig to be fair, I do like the hard body. But yeah, first thing we're going to do is we're going to try out our trail speed. So first gear, then second gear, see what it's like. And then we'll see if we can find some obstacles, try out the suspension and see what it's actually like crawling on the trail. Okay, so first off we'll try in first gear. Okay, then we're not too bad, then we'll try second gear. It's got plenty of trail speed in second gear. You know, you can do a, a, a brisk walk to keep up with it. But that's pretty cool. Right, let's find some obstacles to try this thing out. Okay, so back in first gear, let's just see what it's like on a loose surface with these tires. Uh, diff locks are enabled, so we should have locked, apart from possibly that rear left, which doesn't seem to be completely locking, but let's give it a try. You can see that rear left wheel just <laughs> well, that's not doing a lot, is it? Like the things just doing the kangaroo. Oh dear, that's funny. Okay, the gear just stuck in the mud. Okay, so it definitely struggled a bit there, didn't it, with the loose dirt? I did make it up and out, but not the best. You can see even that is getting stuck on. Let's see if we can hop it. The suspension works pretty well, but it's it definitely struggles as soon as it comes up in obstacle. Those tyres don't have a great deal of grip, do they? Oh, wheelie. Okay, we're going to have to go around.
So I do like that suspension movement. You know, the suspension does look good. You know, it's not really bouncy. You know, those leaf springs are doing their job. It looks all right. When you're going along in second gear, you know, on a little trail, it looks pretty good. So you can see when it's just kind of like, you know, mild obstacles, like just a small minor trail obstacles, it gets them over, over them okay. It's only when there's like bigger obstacles then you can see it's like struggling to get over them. I think the tires don't have an amazing amount of grip and then yeah, the motor just kind of struggles to push it over. Let's see if we can climb up and out of here. See, it's kind of slows down a bit as the kangaroo hop again on those leaf springs. That's not bad, you know, we got up and out with minimal effort. You know, fairly the same amount of throttle control. Now, the drag brake seems to be a bit hit and miss. Sometimes it seems to do its job, sometimes it doesn't. Like there, it's, you know, holding on the hill. Sometimes it just seems to roll down. So I think it depends on how much of a slope it is as to whether it holds. It doesn't say anything about a drag brake in the manual, but yeah. Some nice roots here. Let's see if we can get up over these. I'd be surprised if we can. I'm impressed. Speed. Nice. Now that's fairly decent slow speed control. Every now and again you've got to just give the throttle a little bit more just to get it to go over. You can see the steering angle is not the best. There you go, it gets a little bit stuck. Obviously it doesn't help with that rear wheel is kind of like jamming up on the body as well. But if we just give it a little it does look cool though. It certainly looks good when it's cool. Considering how heavy that hard body is, it's doing, it's pretty balanced, you know, it's not lifting the front up too much and, 
you know, it's hopping around, but it's not tipping over. I'm quite surprised at that. I'm pretty happy with that. I think I did an all right job, to be fair. You can see it struggles every now and again on, like, the bigger obstacles. But, you know, for what you get, for $130, you know, uh, dual 260 motors, portal axles, diff locking front and rear, two speed, hard body, working lights. Uh, it's got a 17 gram steering servo, stainless steel chassis, leaf springs that actually see nice suspension as well. You know, not your usual kind of cheap, tacky, just really, really bouncy. Um, you know, nice scale accessories, you know, nice details. I like the fact that the battery's under the bonnet, the doors open, or the back bed opens as well. You know, that's not bad. The tyres are all right, they're not amazing. Slow speed control's okay. Again, not amazing, but you know, it, it's fairly decent. You know, it's not like you can get completely stuck on an obstacle. You just give it a bit more throttle, then it's over. So yeah, for $130, that's not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. I uh, hope you found the video useful. Uh, don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.